also very happy that you are getting all this state of the art technology in the Moosh board and also in your classrooms. I was just, we were just informed that we are all going to have very smart classrooms. He is concerned with justice. And if education curriculum in a law college ignores the basic idea of justice, then point of social reconstruction is missed. Aristotle once said that educate, educating the mind without educating the heart is no education at all. I am aware that in the modern times, the gradation of a law college is more or less dependent upon the result of campus interviews. But I may insist that the aim of students of the law university should ultimately be a concern for the needs of members of the society in which they live. Being a professional and earning fees is not a crime, but for achieving excellence, if one sacrifices the basic idea behind concern for liberty and justice, then it would be a failure of a legal education system. People who graduate from law college must know how to read, understand and apply the law in the context of social history and in the light of mandate of our constitution. The graduates from a law college need to know more than how to read the roots and apply them. They should be able to have a sense of historical, institutional and social context. Students should have the sense of purpose for which they wish to have knowledge of law and the purpose for which they need to acquire the skill and the field of law. The judge is supposed to know the what of law, the contents of law. The lawyer is supposed to know the how of law, the procedural part, the CPC, the CRPC. But it is the job of the, it is the mission of the law teacher, the professor, to tell the student the why of law. And that is what you learn, that is what I have learned in my three years of law college. And that is what I still remember even after 39 years of my legal career, 19 years as a lawyer and 20 years as a judge. Career you may choose for yourself, doctor, lawyer or teacher. But let me propose an avocation to be pursued along with it. Become a dedicated fighter for civil rights. Make it a central part of your life. It will make you a better doctor, a better lawyer, a better teacher. It will enrich your spirit as nothing else possibly can. It will give you that rare sense of nobility that can only spring from love and selflessly helping your fellow human beings. Make a career of humanity. Commit yourself to the noble struggle for human rights. You will make a greater person of yourself a greater nation of your country and a finer work to live in.